episode of your favorite show hot and juicy with me miss men who asks when you see me you know it's time for some real infotainment right i have a whole lot of hot gist for you on today's episode and trust me you don't want to miss any bit of it let's get started with our weekly news roundup and this are the headlines Winning Cameroonian gospel artist Ben Awapi calls on Daphne to emulate the example of Nigerian artist Shidima and switch to gospel music. A gendarme officer allegedly murders his wife after the both had a serious fight at home. Cameroonian Boya Bay stripper Latifa Red tattoos Naramale's face on her boots and the internet goes crazy with reactions. Cameroonian cross dresser Shakira has been sentenced to five years imprisonment with a fine of 200,000 francs. He's been accused of practicing homosexuality. Cameroon's first daughter Brenda Bia gives reasons why she decided to stay far, far away from her country, Cameroon. This is what we have for the headlines. Details coming up in a bit. Pour participer au Captain Bongo Bongo Challenge, constituez votre équipe de trois personnes âgées de 21 ans et plus, un captain et deux autres membres du groupe. Reprenez la chorégraphie du refrain de Bongo Bongo à la fin de votre reprise. Posez tous comme Captain Morgan avec le pied gauche suspendu. Le Captain devra publier votre vidéo sur la page Facebook de l'île de l'Islameuse. Ajoutez les hashtags Captain Morgan, Bongo Bongo, Captain Bongo, Captain Slam. Nous primerons les 75 groupes ayant reçu le plus grand nombre de mentions j'aime. Tous les gagnants recevront un bon d'achat de 50 000 francs CFA. Soyez créatifs. Bonne chance. Nigerian artist made it official weeks ago that she was quitting from secular music to gospel music after being spiritually called by God. Inspired by such a decision, Ben Awapi immediately came out calling on Daphne to do the same by switching to gospel music, which according to him will suit her very well. This is actually what he said. Just like Shitima of Nigeria, I can see Cameroonian music style Daphne into gospel music completely. I am not a prophet, but that is what I can see in the realm of the spirit. It is time. In the realm of the spirit, it is time. You all know Daphne. Now, immediately he said this, she came out saying, This thing now by calling or oh, not by wishing and prophecies. If God calls me to be a gospel singer, I will answer. Hmm. Sounds good, right? Looks like she's been looking in that direction too. Uh, imagine the Daphne that we know becoming a gospel artist, singing only gospel songs and living a full child of God kind of lifestyle. Interesting, right? I personally think Daphne will do a great gospel artist too. Lately, she's been very absent as a solo artist on the musical scene, but she has a number of collaborations. Maybe she's working on new songs. Maybe she's working on an album. If that's the case, Daphne, please do include one or two gospel songs in that album too. Please, Ben Awabi. A gendarme officer named Clement Mondo is being accused of allegedly murdering his wife, Claire Charlotte Ngono, with whom he has been married to for 21 years. The incident happened in the Oja neighborhood in Yaoundé, and apparently that was not the first time such was happening. According to reports coming from his daughter, after the man was done beating his wife, he locked up himself with his wife in their room so that nobody could intervene. After trying severally to get her mother on the phone, the daughter had to bash into their room just to find her mother sitting on the ground and breathing no more. Immediately she was rushed to the hospital, the man did not even follow, he came ass after. And when questioned, he said she committed suicide. Wow. She committed suicide. Really? In your presence? Domestic violence is real and unfortunately this is just one of the so many cases we've had and will continue on having if women don't wake up. I mean like marriage is meant for happiness. What will you be doing in your home which brings you nothing but pains and tears? You don't love yourself or what? And unfortunately or bizarrely, the excuse many of these women living in toxic marriages give is that they stay for the children's sake. Like seriously? When you're severely beaten and you lost your life, do you carry your children along with you in the grave? Question. The internet was on fire this week, on real fire, extra hot after Cameroonian social media sensation. Latifa Red showed up 
the tattoo of Naira Mali's face on her boot in celebration of his birthday. Wow! Naira Mali did a post about that on his Twitter and was like, Latifa again? She had a happy birthday, Naira Mali. That means every day is my birthday? That was weird. And Davido was like, Jesus. And I am like, really? Can you ever go this far just to show your favorite celebrities how much you love them? After she tattooed um, Naramali's face on her boots, a lot of people came after her, calling her all sorts of names. People were calling her a bad bitch, she's bad influence, she's a disgrace to womanhood, she's a disgrace to her family. I mean, like, you guys know that Latifah Red is a stripper? This is not a job for anybody. It takes courage to do that. And for all of you calling her a bad bitch, this is what she has to say. Okay, so I go and I come back. And it's everywhere, Facebook, Instagram, Latifaret has been arrested, Latifaret has been Mali, she's a disgrace to Cameroon, blah 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 blah. Well anyway, okay fine, I was arrested and I have been released. Can we raise? I have drawn the tattoo and he has posted it. Can we raise? Are you serious? Nobody will marry you, can we raise? I accept, I accept, I, I have chosen my path and I know my fate tomorrow. So can we raise? She's definitely not giving a damn to all your insults. She's living her best life. Joker Lloyd, popularly known as Shakiro, is a Cameroonian cross-dresser, a transgender, a drag queen or a gay, call it whatever you want to, has been sentenced to five years imprisonment with a fine of 200,000 francs. After being detained at the Newberg prison for three months, he's been accused of practicing homosexuality, which is still very much condemned by the Cameroon law. According to Article 347, subsection 1 of the Penal Code, homosexuality is punished with a six months to five years imprisonment with a fine of 20,000 francs to 200,000 francs for anyone caught having sex with someone of the same sex. You understand what I mean, right? Shakira is one of the so many cross-dressers we have in Cameroon who has openly accepted and shown the world who he is. He is very much loved and followed by his fan base. He's known for crazy phrases like Le Lolet, uh, Le Goût de Sa, and the popular phrase On ne fait pas le crédit dans le pima. Unfortunately, we still live in a society where homosexuality is still very much perceived as a taboo with people not allowed to have nor express their wayward feelings according to the African culture and tradition. Shakiro was apprehended by the forces of law and order early this year and was immediately kept in Seoul. After several attempts to get him out, I remember there was a GoFundMe Shakiro. I don't know where it ended, but unfortunately he has been sentenced to five years imprisonment. I think what actually got him arrested was when he exaggerated by posting an large baby bomb photo of himself. Seriously? I mean like everybody knows that Shakiro is a man and men don't get pregnant. What was that? I think Shakiro should have left this country long ago if he really wanted to live openly as a gay, just like what Cameroonian blogger Kiki Bandi did. In an exclusive interview with Manchester Evening News, she said she had to leave her tribe behind in Cameroon so she could openly live as a lesbian. Cameroon does not tolerate such practices. If you are in it and you are living in this country, you are definitely on your own. In a recent post, Shakiro said he will expose all those he has been practicing the homosexuality with. Wow. <laughs> Guys, let me know what you think about this on Shakiro. Was it right for him to have been sentenced to five years? Let me know in the comment section. Cameroon's first daughter, Brenda Bia, says she's been traumatized on several occasions by Cameroonians who always find a way to make a mockery of her physique, especially with her eyes, which is totally unacceptable, attacking her on an issue she has no control over. According to her, the mentality of Cameroonians should be reviewed. This is actually what she said. And that is why I decided to stay away from Cameroon for a while. I was traumatized, made a paria for having a sickness. I love my country, don't get me wrong, but that is the main reason I can't get behind the mentality people have there. You have stopped traumatizing Brenda Bia because she definitely loves her country so much. Check out this unfiltered freestyle of her, which is by the way a trap on her soon to be released EP. I got them cheat codes, need those more life, that's keys though. Open doors to that shit going. I've some my beat those. 
make ways, try to make place. Money only thing that a chick chase. Keep it steady, I don't run in place. Get the cake, get the cake. I've been trying to live my life. Got this shit trying to hold me back. Fuck, I look like trying to chase height. Your favorite rappers should definitely not feel threatened. And by the way, I can't wait for this EP to try. Fox Africa presents a list of top richest musicians and it's amazing to notice that on its no Cameroonian features. What's wrong? What's even happening here? It's alarming to know that there's a list of top richest African musicians and no Cameroonian is mentioned. And we all know that in Cameroon we have great artists. There is definitely a problem somewhere. Does it mean that fans don't support their artists enough in making them rich? That's the question because on that list we have Nigerian artists who by the way constitute 80% of that list. On it we have Senegalese, we have uh, South Africans and no Cameroonian artist is mentioned on it. Wow. Cameroonian music legend Dede Yango apologizes for all the controversial posts made by his daughters lately on social media. We've had a series of crazy comments from their Facebook page from posting sultry photos of themselves to the extent of comparing themselves to Beyonce. Beyonce? Crazy, right? This is actually what they said when they posted this photo of Beyonce. Quand c'est Beyonce comme ça, vous ne parlez pas. Quand c'est Eyango, Facebook sera en évolution. Meaning, when it's Beyonce, you guys don't talk. When it's Eyango, Facebook goes crazy. Why would Facebook not go crazy? You guys are not even Beyonce. Why would you go as far as comparing yourself to her? Well, since that is always there for his girls, Dede Yango said the page was actually managed by a community manager who is responsible for everything. Meaning, the comparison with Beyonce, the sultry photos of the girls on their Facebook page were actually an initiative of their community manager. While apologizing, he promised that the page will now henceforth be managed by professionals. Yeah, let that page be managed by professionals. A host of Cameroonian urban artists showed up in their numbers to be the farewell to singer Tizi Panchak's dad who passed away a couple of weeks ago. Amongst we had the artists like Leo Gray, Blanche Bailey, Stan Yeno, Longe Longe, Vivi Smith, Mine, ABZ, and a whole host of other celebrities. This is really a trying moment for Tizi Panchak. If you haven't yet lost one of your parents, you will definitely not understand the pains of losing one. Sincere condolences from the 237 Showbiz family. Courage to you, El Chaco. May the soul of your dad rest in peace. That's all we have for the news roundup this week, guys. If you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so. I'm giving you just a few seconds for that. Please subscribe and hit the notification button. for all the love and support top 10 countdown coming up right away at the 10th position we have the smashing brand new song from Cameroonian artist Reki Dasha the song is titled versatile and is produced by smash laser Moko and Boko from Boko Queens with the look everywhere for one Boko Kings. I'm mashing these haters to stay underneath. I don't hold in gorilla, they you not for breed. Checking the time, checking the move of the dollar, checking the swag of my collar. I stay on the ground. At the ninth position, we have Believe with the title Jeter Street Bread featuring the legendary Pretty Pretty. The song is produced by CP Locker. Slim Hale featuring Mr. Leo comes up at the 8th position with the song titled Nobody. The song is produced by Soundboy. At the 7th position we have this beautiful collabo song from Blackie Kara featuring Nadila. Montez comes up at the 6th 
Future with her smashing brand new song titled Small Girl Big Girl. Plenty blessings come my way. Every day I fire prayer. At the fourth position, we have Bolo by Cameroonian artist Kameni. The song is produced by Abstrumenta. When my walk you must to drop, oh. When my walk you must to drop. Coming up on the third position, we have Coco Ajante with this beautiful song titled Le Vrai Amour. Chaque temps, chaque temps, c'est lui ton confident. Chaque temps, chaque temps, c'est son épaule que toi tu blow. Renew occupies the second position with her beautiful song Controller. Controller. The song is produced Controller. by of the week is this beautiful smashing collab song from Minx, Zitra, Kameni and Nenos. The song is titled Booster and it is produced by Ash for Life and counts more than 100,000 views on YouTube so far. Guys, watch and enjoy. the controversy surrounding the best way a Jew should be eaten. According to him, it is done with the fingers. We've had a lot of celebrities lately on social media who have been eating a Jew with either a spoon or a fork. A Jew with a spoon and a fork? Really? Guys, let me know in the comment section the, the best way traditional meals according to you should be eaten. finally draw the curtains for today's episode of hot and juicy thank you guys very much for watching but before we go a big congratulations to Cameroonian artist fish on his song Joe, which recently clocked 1 million view on youtube released eight months ago let me know what you think about today's episode in the comment section don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification button for more updates on Cameroon Entertainment, follow 237 Showbiz. We are on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. Thanks for watching and see you guys next week.